Hi there, Rob here from the Department of Education at Cape Breton University. Well, today what I want to look at is how we can keep our course shells in Moodle neat and tidy and easy for our students to find their way around. I've got a couple of different course shells open right now. One is one that I'm building at the moment called Welcome to Transitioning to Online Learning. The other one is one that I finished building a while back. And I'm going to use this one to show you a little bit about how I try to organize things to keep them neat and tidy. And in this one, I'll show you how to set up a few of these things yourself. So as you can see, I tend to organize my modules by week. And I tend to keep them nice and short and in a similar style of organization. At the top of my course page, I keep all the stuff that students are going to need to refer back to throughout the entire course so that it's easy to find. They don't need to hunt their way through all of the weekly modules to find a particular assignment Dropbox, to find the course syllabus, or to find the major course announcements, or even the questions and help forum. It's all right there at the top of the course for them. When I get down into my weekly modules, you can see that I have them organized here by specific week with the date. So every term I do need to go in and update these labels so that they reflect the current dates. And I'm going to skip the week one in this particular course because there's a lot of background resources here. But this is how I typically organize one of my weeks. I have the weekly label. I add in some sub labels so that I can keep things organized within the week. The first bit is the actual resources students will be encountering and their means of communication for the for that particular week. And the last bit that I have is a checklist. I'll create a separate video to show you how I set up the checklist. So what I'm going to do right now is go into my other course and show you how to basically organize these uh, labels, how to keep things neat and tidy for your students. And there is a reason why I do organize these by week instead of by topic. When you're teaching an online course, it's much more difficult for students to keep track of what is due when and where to find everything if you don't organize things in a linear fashion week by week. I like to present it to them exactly when they need it, just in time, so that they can find that resource and they don't have to hunt all over the place. So let's take a look here at our transitioning course. I've already got week one set up. And under week two, I've uh, already added this uh, particular label here for the week. It's not done in a weekly fashion because this is not a typical week by week course. But uh, I would call this week two, May 11th to 17th, if it was for the upcoming term. So I need to turn on the uh, editing feature here in Moodle. And now I will come down to my week here and figure out what I need to add. I like to add things in layers. It keeps my workload a little bit neat and tidy as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a label. I click on label, add, and I will give this a, uh, a label ID here. And this is going to be organizing weekly modules. Now I want this text to stand out a bit. For accessibility purposes, I will actually tag this as a heading. Uh, I will tag this as heading level five. The others I find are a bit big on the course homepage. And I'm going to change the activity completion. I tend to do this for everything that I put in Moodle so that it's not an activity that students would mark themselves as complete. I will be using that feature a little bit later on uh, to set up something else that I will demonstrate in another video. So I've added my first label. I'm going to add one more here. Weekly checklist. And again, I will have that as heading level five. I will change the completion on this so that students do not mark it as complete. I have my two labels. And now I need to add my content. 
So if you'll see from this particular module here, I have three things. This first we call the Moodle book. I will show you in another video how to create one of those. I put all of my readings into the Moodle book rather than having a whole bunch of separate pages. You can see in this particular week up here, I do have a bunch of different separate pages and it tends to get cluttered and long. I like to keep it all in the Moodle book to keep it neat and tidy so students know exactly where to go to get their readings and resources for the week. And then I will add in a discussion forum for the week and then their checklist. So to add in a discussion forum, I simply click on here, click forum, call this whatever you want to call it. Week two forum. Please respond to at least two of your classmates original posts. Now, when I'm setting up a discussion forum that is a required forum for students to participate in, I will actually uh, change a few settings on here. I will change subscription and tracking and make it a forced subscription. I want students to get notifications when there are new posts for this. If you don't force the subscription, they tend to miss it. The only uh, forum that I will not force subscription on for students in a course is the Student Cafe forum. And again, activity completion, I'm going to change this to do not indicate completion. Save and return to the course. Now you will notice that this is at the bottom. I don't want this at the bottom here. I want it before the weekly checklist, so I can just drag this up here. And everything is uh, organized. I'm going to create some more videos and post them for you to show how to create one of those Moodle books that I was referring to and how to set up your weekly checklist and keep things neat and tidy and organized here in your course for your students.